This is the existing controller that came with this table. The uh, AC wiring inside has just got um, tape around it. This is electrical tape. It's not even taped very well. Uh, there's a little bit of a space problem in this case, evidently, because they had to, to uh, cram some stuff in here. First uh, glance was kind of puzzling because this is their torch height control card. Uh, it was stuck in here with double-sided tape uh, inside the unit, and the tape has uh, lost its adhesion, so it's not sticking very well right now. They had to kind of chew the corners off on the torch height control in order to get it to fit in the case. It looks like the outputs to the torch height control, which are up the uh, command lines and stuff for feedback into the software into mock are uh, just uh, mechanical relays. Unfortunately, mechanical relays are pretty slow uh, in the grand scheme of things, so uh, instead of being a, a signals being in the microsecond range, they're going to be in the millisecond range. Of course, you've got your main power switch. The main power switch goes back to uh, the power supply and it's spliced in three different places. This is the back where the signals and the motors plug in. It's got four uh, connectors, but this is only a three axis system. And there's not room in this box for uh, a fourth uh, driver. So this, is, this can't be more than just a three motor system. We're going to replace the uh, control that we just showed you with one of our uh, Blade Runner all-in-one uh, controller kits. If you look inside that, it's a little bit, it's organized a little bit different than the other one. Uh, everything is uh, printed circuit boards with ribbon cables. Uh, there's no hand wiring in here. And uh, this has our uh, digital DTHC uh, torch height control. You can see it on the side of the box. It's accessed from right here. This is the input. This uses a standard parallel port. With this kit comes four of the 620 stepper motors. These are some of the highest torque stepper motors in this frame size that you can get. We had these motors specially designed uh, for this project several years ago. Uh, they've been a really good motor for us. And you get four motors with this system. You need four motors because we're going to put a motor on each side to drive the gantry up and down the table. You need a motor for your cross axis, that's three. And then of course you need your Z motor, that's four. This is the motor output section. We've got uh, four drivers here. These are Gecko stepper drivers. They're interfaced directly through our card. They've got uh, opto-isolation on the card and it allows uh, you to plug the motors in directly on the side here. They come like this from the factory. The motors just simply plug in like that. See inside the box we're going to replace the other controller with this box. Uh, we expect to have out of this system probably four to six times the amount of performance that we had with the other system. The other system uh, is limited rather dramatically with um, acceleration. 